From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. House Speaker Halsin Mutri says the disagreements between his chamber and the executive have been resolved. His comment came during today's House of Assembly sitting. He said, quote, I'm pleased to report that in a discussion with the Honorable Member for Killarney, Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, along with the Honorable Member for Southern Shores, the Honorable Leader of Government Business in the House acting, and the Speaker this morning, all issues relating to any disagreements have been resolved. He did not elaborate. This after Speaker Mutri abruptly adjourned House proceedings last week after accusing the executive of ignoring the authority of Parliament. A massive fire at Jenny Street yesterday destroyed six structures and left four partially damaged, leaving families in total devastation. Helpless to the violent flames that moved from one structure to the next within minutes, Thomas Jackson was among the people who looked on. When he first arrived at the scene, his house was intact. However, as minutes turned into an hour, the fire spread to his uninsured home and engulfed it. The 63-year-old said he also lost his boat, which he relies on to help care for his family. According to police, the cause of the fire is not not yet known. Pick up a copy of today's Tribune for more on this story. One man is dead and two others injured in hospital after a shooting incident on Saturday off of East Street. While one victim is in critical condition, the other is listed in stable condition, police have said. Speaking to reporters on the scene on Saturday night, Police Press Liaison Assistant Superintendent Audley Peters said the men were gathered at an event on Polemus Street when the incident occurred. ASP Peters said shortly before 9 p.m., police received reports of a shooting incident. On their arrival to the scene, they met three males suffering from gunshot wounds, he explained. Emergency Emergency medical services were summoned and on their arrival, the victims were treated. However, one of the males succumbed to his injuries on scene. Two of the males were transported to hospital via ambulance, one of which is in critical and the other in stable condition, he said. ASP Peters added that police had no information to suggest this incident was gang related, adding it appeared to be a conflict. The National Emergency Management Agency is urging all residents to get prepared ahead of the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season, which is poised to be an above average one with three to four major hurricanes expected. NEMO officials made the plea during a virtual briefing hosted by the Ministry of Disaster Preparedness, Management and Reconstruction yesterday, where they also gave an update on the agency's hurricane preparedness efforts and forecast for the upcoming season. Officials have also explained that in today's society, a normal season would usually have 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. However, information reported from several international agencies have already predicted the season to be an above average one. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, the Biden administration said today that four families that were separated at the Mexico border during Donald Trump's presidency will be reunited in the United States this week in what Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas called just the beginning of a broader effort. Two of the four families include mothers who were separated from their children in late 2017, one Honduran and another Mexican Mayorkas said, declining to detail their identities. He described them as children who were three years old at the time and teenagers who have had to live without their parent during their most formative years. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said today there is a good chance that social distancing rules in England will be scrapped on June 21st, a potential boom to hard-hit pubs and cinemas. Johnson told reporters in the North England town of Hartlepool, where he is campaigning before a special election on Thursday, that the government's lockdown easing plans remain on track. That's due to a sharp fall in new coronavirus infections, down to below 2,000 a day from nearly 70,000 a day at the peak of the second surge in January. And the rapid rollout of vaccines. The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. There is a high pressure ridge supporting mostly breezy and stable conditions across the country today. Beachgoers should exercise caution due to the high risk of rip currents at East Coast beaches. For all areas, it'll be partly to mostly sunny, hot and breezy, with a few possible stray showers and the slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm this afternoon. Mostly fair and breezy tonight. Winds southeasterly at 15 to 20 knots in the northwest and central Bahamas and easterly at 15 to 20 knots over open waters in the southeast Bahamas. Seas 4 to 7 feet over the ocean across all areas. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 90 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 75. The sun will set this afternoon at 739 and will rise tomorrow morning at 632. That's news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper now on the streets or stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.